Hello everyone, today on the channel we are going for another traditional corset draft because it's super super fun so let's hope we can get 8 players going on and make this draft happen because uh, so far we haven't had much luck not sure why people don't want to play draft. Alrighty then, we got everybody. That was really, really fast. Okay. So let's open some big boys. And uh, we can go for uh, probably almost any color combination. That's the beauty of Core 21 draft. <laughs> What's going on? We have one person waiting for one person. So let's open some uh, not fabled passages. That's not what we're looking for. So we do have this guy, which is pretty good. So is this. So we might go for black. I mean, blue something. Blue black would go well. Blue white also goes well. Uh, maybe we'll go for. Uh, I guess we we'll try black first. Blue black is not bad. This guy is a huge boy. Huge boy. We have not played Dimir. We haven't played Dimir maybe in this. Maybe once. So uh, it would be nice to play Dimir. Instead of always playing Rakdos or Boros or Gruul. And I think we played uh, Azorius a couple of times. Uh, okay, so what do we have in blue-black? Not much. We do have the Megalodon. Which is also a huge boy. So we gotta start looking for removal spells in black. Because blue does not have that many. Doesn't have any actually. Just a tap spell. So we do need to look for some removal spells in black if we want to win this game. And we also need to look for a lot of small creatures. We could go for the blue shrine if we do get it. I mean this shrine works perfectly by itself. It's good in a slow deck because you can stall. The one life a turn actually makes a big difference. And what do we have here? We have a lot of good cards. We're gonna have to go for the Imp though. It's a very nice two drop. Oh man, if we went white we could have had a lot of flyers. Uh, I guess we'll go for the blue flyer. If we only went white, but we're drafting white. We drafted white every single draft almost. Usually white red, sometimes white black. And white is usually the most drafted color in this core set. And uh, black is usually the least drafted color usually. Uh, people draft white and red the most. And then probably blue. And then green and black. At least that's what we figured out so far. That's what we have figured out. So right now we are not doing too bad. White is wide open with remover. Black and blue are not. Which is very annoying because as soon as we decide to go into a couple of colors, we really don't want those colors to dry up so fast. Especially since one color is the least draftable one, the black. And blue is not so amazing. I mean, you need a couple of uh, things to make it work. Usually blue goes with white or with red. That's why it's possible you've never drafted blue-black in core set 2021 yet. So we do need to pick up removal ASAP, especially pack 2 and 3. Since it doesn't look like we're going to get any. We might get another imp if we're lucky. He's kind of removal, although he dies to shock. But we need to slow down. We need to slow down. 
This is not good. Well, green is wide open too, and there's a dub still in that pack. Uh, do we need to draw cards or do we need to block? Uh, let's take another creep lurker. Cut off the black. We need blockers. That's what we need. Yeah, we really have to hope to get at least four remover spells in the next two packs. Otherwise, it's gonna be an uphill battle. We wanna run this guy, I guess. Guess we don't have a choice. We do need early blockers, but we also need to deal with big creatures. Because both these guys are uh, 7 mana. So we gotta survive until we get to 7 mana. Somehow. So maybe this was not the best color combination for us. Although any color combination obviously works in draft if you get good cards. But again, you do need removal as well. Anyway, we have two more packs. So we have to stay positive and optimistic. We're going to open removal. Wow, this Legion Jasmine is still going around. Let's we take the Mine Rot, although we're probably not going to run it. Uh, we'll take the Groom Sower here. Did we table the land? There's a Dimir land that we saw. It's not here. Okay, Silent Dart is not the worst remover. It's playable. Can we table the land? Because I don't think there's anybody else in Dimir in our... Uh, In our pod, there's not much chance of somebody else playing Dimir. They will play blue and they will play black, but they're probably not going to play both of them together. Come on, land. Um, not that land. Come on, Dimir, land. Well, we are getting some garbage picks after turn. After pick 12, all these other like, picks are... Okay, we didn't get the land, so somebody else is playing Dimir. Shackle guys! Of course, we always open Shackle guys. Oh god, okay. Uh, this guy is a lot better. I mean, there is removal though, but we're gonna have to take a chance. It is the only blue card there, so we're not gonna see it again. The next player that plays blue is gonna take it. And we do need to take the mover, but this guy does win games by himself almost. And no more remover for us. Guess we'll pick this. Well, we open some bad, bad cards as usual. I mean, we have one more pack, but as usual, we, we open some bad cards. Or rares, I mean. Rares or mythics. I think we have no. Yeah, we have no rares. So we definitely need to get fed some black removal ASAP. Oh, there we go. We gotta eliminate. We would like to take Kervek, but it's not gonna work. He's gonna probably kill most of our creatures. Although, if he does stable for some weird reason, we are gonna take him. Okay, so we got one eliminate. We really need at least four remover spells. Rewind is not bad. Pestilence and Haze, I guess, is a remover spell. So we gotta take removal very high. Hopefully we can get another blue tap thing. And we need some bomb. Like, we really need to open Ugin or something. Next pack. Because we are not getting any bombs. Okay, and now we're getting cut of uh, cards too. Somebody's taking all the blue cards. Like, honestly, we only have four blue cards. And we really don't want to play this. Frost Breath. 
Archfin Vessel, Village Right. Uh, we have a lot of choices here. I think we have to take the Frost Breath. We don't want to die. Any chance we can get another black removal? Although we very much doubt it. Cage zombie, which is cauldron, doesn't do anything. Okay, we're gonna take the creature. I think we're doing well on creatures already. Another creep lurker? We have like three of them. I mean, this guy is decent, but he's not three of decent. Another max background, I'm gonna take one rise again. Uh, I guess we'll take the gloom star. How are we gonna stay alive long enough to cast all these seven drops? We have two gloom stars, okay. So I guess we don't need any more big creature. All we need is removal and small creature. I guess village rice is decent. Card draw. We don't have any blue card draw. Uh, sure, three Gloom Sowers. Yeah, how are we going to stall? We have to stall. How? No idea. We did get two removal spells this pack. Another village, right? We are. If we knew that, we wouldn't have taken the first one. Uh, yeah. That's not playable. And of course we open white and we are not anywhere near white. There is riddle form. There is stalid. There's no removal. Do we have enough spells to make riddle's form work? No. Okay, we're just gonna take the stalid. Okay, there's whale. There's capture sphere. But whale, but capture sphere. We have to take capture sphere, otherwise we're gonna die if we don't take removal. There's another gloom sower. There's read the tides. I don't think we need creatures. And we don't have a combo with a tome. We need a guy that draws cards and discard a card to play the tome. I mean, the whale is a bomb, but uh, we have already too many. Seven casting cost creatures there. We do need some kind of remover. So so far we don't have enough. This is the first time we managed to draft so little remover. Uh yeah, fetty team number two, get in there. This guys could be quite good. Because opponent doesn't want to waste burn spells on them. Um I guess we'll take another. No, we have to take the Frost Breath. We might play two Frost Breaths. We don't need a six mana guy. Although he is very good, but uh, our top end. I mean, we just jump from four casting cost things to like uh, seven. Yeah. We don't even have six casting cost things. We definitely don't want to play these Sentinels. Uh, any chance? It's already pick 5. I'm not sure what chance we have of getting removal. Two Pestilent Hazes could be doable. Because we do need to stall. And we do have a couple of 2-3s. This would die though. But these guys would survive. So only the Blackguard the Imps would die. Um, I guess we'll pick this. We don't need another read the tides, we have one already. Is there any chance we can get another black remove our spell? No. Oh, this guy is really good. He can make something fly. Although he dies to almost anything. Yeah, this is gonna be a struggle. I'm gonna be honest. This deck is going to be a struggle. We definitely don't have enough removal as much as we wanted. Uh, do we need a crab with 4 mana? 
No, we have enough for mana stuff. Like, this deck is utterly underwhelming, especially with no rares. Guess we're gonna have to play the Silent Dart. Which is a first sign that we have a pretty bad deck. With not much removal. We just have the Dart and the Eliminate. And that's about it. Oh, this guy's top. Top pick. And the Capture Sphere, I guess. And the Pestilence. I mean, if we play against a lot of X1 or X2 decks, so not green, we should do good. Uh, here comes the Crab. It is the most underwhelming deck that we have probably ever uh, drafted in core 2021 and uh, yeah <coughs> there's nothing else to say so we're not gonna play this one rights not gonna play that guy either we have enough two drops actually zombies are good with this guy he gets plus one plus zero no myro no this no this uh, we might play this we have to see two lurker is enough not this one rise again is enough Two Gloom Sowers. We have to cut six. Six cards? Okay, no village rights. We need two of these, two of these. We need a Sanctum. We need Frost Preps. We need him, we need him. And him, and him. Actually, our deck is pretty fast. Low to the ground. We'll cut the Anima. We don't have a combo with it. Uh, let's cut the Crab as well. 18 creatures, let's cut the read the tides. We still have to cut two cards. Um, we don't want too many seven casting course creatures. We do have rise again to bring something back. Uh, we might have to cut one more gloom sower. So only 16 creatures. But yeah, we're gonna have to try like this. <sighs> we have to try like this. I mean, we do have a lot of small creatures, so it should be okay. It's just the removal is horrible. The removal is almost non-existent. Unless the opponent has lots of small creatures. So in that situation, if we draw the minus two, minus two card, we're going to be good. This is possibly one of the worst hands we could have, but we have mana and we can stall. So third turn we can tap two of their creatures and stall a couple of turns. Maybe we can draw into the minus two minus two thing. If they have small creatures. This guy is not gonna come back, come out for a long time. Okay, we do have Liliana's devotee next turn. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Although he's probably gonna die ASAP. He is one of the strongest cards in our deck. If we draw another 3 drop, I mean we have a lot of 2 drops. We have 4 2 drops and a lot of 3 drops I think. Maybe 5 3 drops. So I don't know why we're not drawing them. We have to wait for them to get 2 creatures out for this. It's kind of a waste to use it on one creature. Yeah, they probably want to burn this guy. Okay, well, we can't attack into him. That's for sure. We don't want to trade the devotee. We can trade the Thalid for this guy if they want. Of course, the opponent has to get the combo. 
the first four mana and the second four mana. Because why wouldn't they? They don't know what Death Blow Tally does. Yeah, we're gonna block it and trade. We still get the 1-1 one, one token. I mean, God knows we don't have a lot of removal. But we are two turns away from casting this crazy thing. Um, attack. Okay, so they don't know what this guy does. We just got a 2-2 two, two token. We just got a, uh, well not 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two token, end of turn. They don't know. This guy is a must kill. I mean, if they have removal, they have to kill the devotee. Now, if they got another creature out. Okay, that is not good. They have enough mana to kill it. But that really sucks because we can't save it. We're hoping they will cast another creature. So we can... Yeah, we can save it. I mean, we do have something to bring it back. We have one reanimate spell. But that really sucks. We're just gonna take the four, I guess. We have to wait for them to get two creatures out so we can have it tapped. So we need to get... Okay. Uh, it's not the biggest creature, but we will be able to do some damage. So it would be nice if they cast another creature here so we can tap them. And then on the turn cast this guy and on our turn attack for a lot of damage. Unless we get super flooded and we have to cast this guy for 7 mana. Because of course we get super flooded. Okay. So we can keep this tapped for actually 4 turns. So we get to hit them this turn. Okay. So we get to cast this. We get to pump this guy. Hit them hard. They don't untap still. And then next turn, we get to tap it again. Hopefully they don't cast another creature. If they do, I guess we'll just tap whichever the biggest one is. Or we might be able to cast this guy. Next turn, if we actually draw mana. If not, we'll just go for the same thing. Okay, so they are... They must have something. They must have removal. Of course they have Frost Breath. Because why wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to cast this guy. And then on their upkeep, we're gonna tap their creatures again. So we can only attack for two. So let's tap these guys on their upkeep. I mean, next time we can only attack them for like five damage. If not, we might just cast this guy. Yeah, 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 tap something. So the question is, do they... Oh, they can untap it. Oh, okay. Well, we do have flyers. We don't have to attack on the ground. And of course they have the Pursued Will, which we passed for the Capture Sphere. Because why wouldn't they have the Pursued Will? Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Okay, this only kills our creatures. So in this situation, we're just going to give them with everybody. Two, four, six, eight. And then of course we're dead because uh, this guy's on top. This is an eight eight. Of course the opponent had to draw into the card that we passed to get the capture sphere. Because why wouldn't they get the card that we pass? Ah <sighs> unbelievable. Uh, just take the eight damage. 
Wait, how does the whale block? Oh, he doesn't fly. What? Yeah, just untap the creature and then attack us. And we're dead. Because uh, we were not smart enough to even leave one blocker. Actually, no, we couldn't leave one block. We have to attack. Yeah, we had to attack. Okay, so we did get mana for it like crazy. This did, does not work. They have a lot of big creatures. I mean, it works against this. What are they waiting for? Okay, we have to go to next game. And we have to get really lucky. I mean, they really had a fast start and we had a shitty hand. Very shitty hand. <laughs> okay, we need a Sanctum. Okay, this haze is not gonna do much. We need big creatures. But not too many big creatures. We need Fetty Dim too. Yeah, them killing our uh, zombie guy with a silent dart was... I guess we'll go back like this. I mean, we had a chance, especially with the zombie out. But of course, again, four lands? Okay. Again, we can't really use this unless we want to kill our own creature. It's so strange because we have so many big guys and we just stole a six mana. We didn't get to the seventh mana, even though we were floating. And they, of course, got to their 7 mana, because opponents, why not? Why wouldn't they get to the 7 mana? And they cast all the big creatures, but, I don't know, killing that zombie was key, because we could have kept them from blocking. And also, they took the untap guy, which we passed. They took both, they beat us with the creatures that we should have taken. The guy that taps and untaps, which is really good against Frost Breath. And the whale that we didn't take because we wanted the Capture Sphere. Which unfortunately does not work against the whale. And it doesn't work against the other guy too. I guess that guy was crazy, the guy that taps and untaps. That's the way they that's the main reason actually that they won the game. That is the main reason that they won that game. They have a two drop. They only have that dog. Oh, and priest might. Okay. Attack. Okay, they don't want to block it. We gotta hit them while we still have the chance. We're gonna guess they are getting mana screwed or color screwed. That's why they wanna keep this alive. No, they have all their colors. This does not add an extra color though. I mean an extra mana, so they still only have three mana. But we have absolutely nothing till seventh turn. I guess this guy we can discard and reanimate him. That might work. That might actually work. So this thing, let's attack. They can discard a land card to deal one damage to a creature. Okay. I don't think they want to discard lands right now. Yeah, we might have to discard this guy because we do have a reanimating spell. So if we draw that, we could reanimate him the next turn. Of course they have a Wish Queen Crab. Because why wouldn't they? So now we are stalled in a stall position. 
Because you can't attack. Which really sucks. So we're gonna have to probably discard this guy. We we'll cut the top two cards and put one into our hand and the other in the library. Yeah, doesn't look like uh, we have much of a choice. Um, we're gonna put the eliminate in the hand, obviously. Although we can't eliminate anything now. Let's pass. We might have to frost breath, depending what other thing they cast. Okay, well they're getting the lands now. So far both these games have not gone well for us. We do have Pestil and Haze though. We do have Pestil and Haze. So let's, let's actually double block it. So we can take this out. They can't kill the zombie, they can only kill this guy. Which is fine because you can Pestil the Haze next turn and wipe their board. It's kind of uh, fortunate they decided to attack with this. When they tapped out, yeah, they can only kill that guy. Or oh, they didn't kill that guy even. But that doesn't really matter because... Actually, no. Let's clip Lurker first. Uh, yeah, let's sacrifice this guy. Okay, we didn't get enough mana for Pestilene. Let's... Uh, not attack. Let's make them lose two life. Yeah. Because we have a blocker and next time we can paste it and haze. And then cast a Thalid. I mean if we draw a swamp, if not we're just gonna paste it and haze all these guys away. They might cast another small creature, they might not. There's not much you can do about that. <laughs> Probably wondering why we Kill that guy. <sighs> okay, they're getting mana floated, but they do have something in there. That's fine. I mean, we can't kill it with Pestilent and Haze, but that's okay. Do they have a shock? No, they didn't. Okay. So let's haze. Kill the two goblin tokens. Um, let's pass the turn. Hopefully, we can draw another swamp so we can drop two thalids since we're not drawing our huge creatures. If they cast another creature, we can tap it. We don't really want to frost breath. Just one guy. But we do need to attack them ASAP before they start to recover. So actually we might have to frost breath. We're just gonna have to frost breath this guy. We don't have a choice. We got to attack them. We have to attack them while they have nothing on the board. And hope to draw another swamp. Oh they had a counter spell, okay. That's not a swamp, but that's fine. Uh let's attack with the creep lurker only. And then drop the two thalids. They must be pretty desperate to counter that. I mean, they can block it and trade, or they can block it and kill this guy. Don't really care what they do. Or they can just take the three damage. Okay. So, thalid time. So, let's hope they don't draw a big creature. Let's hope they draw a 3 mana or less creature. Of course they draw another devil because why wouldn't they? Okay. No, 
I don't think they should have attacked with that. It's kind of a mistake. Of course we draw lands color. So let's attack them. I mean they can kill two war creatures. That's obviously the name of the game. But we also get to hit them for some damage and hit them some more end of turn with this guy. We need a we need a reanimating spell or I don't know. We need something. Yeah, of course they want to kill this guy. So we have to make them lose two more life. We need something big. We need a huge creature. Or we need a reanimating spell for this. Or something. Yeah, this is four mana, so eliminate is useless. No, we don't want to block. Really? Oh, Fetid Dim. Fetid Dim is good. Uh, let's just attack with everybody. I should probably trade with this guy. But they still take 4 damage. They go down to 1. Next to it, top the imp which flies. So... Yeah, they have to... Kill the creep lurker. Ah, uh, this is so grindy. Okay, so the imp flies. So obviously, they have to kill it somehow. Otherwise, they die. Or they have a flyer. I mean, we're not gonna block, obviously, they can attack us with the devils. We're not gonna block. If they have a land... Shock! Okay. So they shocked the wrong... Shocked the wrong card? Aren't they just dead now? This thing flies. The other thing doesn't fly. Okay. Let's make everything fly. Attack. Because they don't want to concede, even though they obviously can't win. <sighs> okay, so Pestilent Haze worked there. Uh, this guy did his job. This guy we didn't draw, he would have been good. Should we play 2 Pestilent Haze? I mean, this guy deals 3 damage, they have a lot of X3. Eliminate doesn't do anything actually. To be honest, we can't eliminate much. Actually, the Haze worked better. Than the Eliminate. Just in case they get those uh, stupid goblins. I mean, they do have small creatures. They must have small creatures. Obviously. They can't have over 4 drops. Actually, Pestilent Haze kills the 3 mana 4 2 troll as well. Oh uh, god, okay. Well, let's hope we draw lands. Why is the opponent choose for us to go first? That's pretty strange, anyway. Question is, what do we want to cast on the second turn? Probably this guy. The imps, we don't have to cast too early. I guess that guy and then uh, can attack for two, if they don't shock him, and cast this guy. And just go from there. I mean, our deck does run a lot of small creatures. That's why the first game was so bad. We didn't draw any small creatures. We are probably a little bit more aggro than the opponent, even though we run things which kill our own creatures. Ironically. Let's get this out. I guess they want to save their shock, see which creature they want to kill. Next time we can get an imp out and the dart, or we can just get the dart and wait to cast this guy at the end of turn. They must have something. Okay. Go for the attack. And uh, let's go for double imp actually. And just smack them in the air. Because next time we can also give this flying. And cast the dart. And attack them in the air. As far as we know they don't have any board wipes. Hopefully. 
Oh, well, there is no board wipes. We have the only board wipe, the black one. They have shock though. But they can't deal with our flyers. Fortunately, we can't pump them. Turret Ogre. Yeah, Turret Ogre can block flyers actually. But. Turret Ogre is going to die this turn. Because we want to hit them for uh, 7 damage half their life. So next turn, if they do cast a creature that can't fly, we can make this guy fly and hit them for 5. Oh! They don't have another flyer. They probably have a shock or something. Okay, so they do have something. Uh, let's attack them. I guess we can cast this guy end of their turn. And we can give it flying. This guy doesn't tap. So we can actually give him flying and pump him. That's 5 damage. Of course they could have a shock. But if they did, they probably want to kill him. They could have a big creature too. Yep, they have a big creature. So that's fine. It doesn't fly. So we're gonna give this guy flying and pump him up for 3. And that's exactly 5 damage. That is exactly 5 damage. Oh, actually, all our creatures? All our creatures untapped? Okay, so let's attack with everybody. Oh, we forgot those guys untapped from the Frostbeth. We thought only the mass pack are untapped, so... I mean, they can only block this guy. Of course, they don't want to concede. Even though... They lost. Well, we managed to pull it through. After we got totally killed. We did keep a bad hand though. In the first game. Two frost breaths and the seven casting cost thing. And four lands. When our deck is pretty low to the ground. We have a lot of two and three drops. <coughs> Just as we said. So we do keep two hazes in. And I guess elimination should be fine. Yeah, we have four two drops and the sanctum, which is a good two drop, but we didn't get it out. Or five two drops. And three drops, we have five, six, three drops. Five two drop and six three drops. And then four drops, there's only three. And then two seven drops, I guess. Yeah, our deck is relatively fast. Our deck is relatively fast. And with the haze, we could take out bigger creatures on our turn if we attack. For some reason, last game opponent wanted us to play first. I guess they want to draw an extra card, which was not a good idea at all. Considering we had a very fast hand. I mean, we were at 20 when we won. We were exactly at 20 life. Opponent goes first. I guess we keep this. We do have Haze and we do have this guy. He's pretty decent. At 4 mana. Black, white. Okay, so... Opponent might be running a lot of small creatures. So we st we're gonna cast this guy at the end of turn just to bait them. So they don't think we have haze. Yeah, battalion. Sure. And also we could block battalion with this guy. Okay. Mana floating it is. Let's just attack, see if they want to trade. They want don't want to trade is fine. 
I mean, we'll take the 3 damage. We do want them to put more X1 or X2s on the board. Scythe. Scythe is not good because this guy is not an X1 anymore. It's a 4-3. Okay. That was unexpected. That was totally unexpected. And unfun. Uh, I guess this guy can block him. And he doesn't die to haze. And so we might as well do as much damage as we can with the black card before he dies to the haze. Come on, more small creatures. What? Okay. So we're gonna assume they have a pump spell. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Protection from black. Oh no, they screwed up. They screwed up and this fell off. Okay. But I guess they don't take the damage. Is this 4-3 forever? Okay, that is not good for us. Attack. We're gonna have to tap them now. We're gonna have to tap them on their turn. Yeah. We're gonna have to tap them. I mean, Haze does kill this guy, but we want more X2s in play before we kill this guy. Haze does not kill this guy. Also, we want to deal more damage to them. Okay, that is not good at all. Stop drawing lands! Wow, okay. Let's attack and pump for all we got. And hope this doesn't die. Because I believe their creatures are gonna be tapped. Of course they have the one remover spell. Unbelievable, okay. And we drew six lands in a row. Seven lands in a row. Okay, so we have to haze now. At least we get to kill two things. They get to keep the 4-3. And we might have to return the skeletal archer next turn. I mean, all we drawn were lands. This is unbelievable. Oh no, they can pump it up. Okay. So this is game over, I think. Pretty much game over. They're gonna pump it and they're gonna gain uh, 5 life. So we get hit for 9, they go back to 20. Okay. Well, this scythe basically won them the game. Well, that and the fact that we are drawing a uh, Unlimited lands. <sighs> Unbelievable. The scythe won them the game. I don't think we can change much. Why are we not even drawing this once? I mean, yeah, we're just gonna go back. We got mana flooded like crazy there. We <laughs> we kept full in hand and we drew so many lands. As usual, Arena does not want to make this easy for us. We have to struggle every single match. Uh, we got a haze again. Let's hope they don't get a sight and let's hope we draw blue land eventually. I mean, it's not bad this guy survives haze. We can cast him turn 3 or this turn 3. Of course they have the doggy first turn, because why wouldn't they? Get this out. Let's hope they drop another X2. Or X1. Destructible. Indestructible doesn't work against it. Okay, so we're playing mono... Of course they get a sight out again. Second turn. We can't deal with this, like literally, we, we can't kill it in any way, shape or form. We didn't even see this in draft. It's gonna be really difficult. And of course they have their eliminate, because why wouldn't they have their eliminate? Why we're getting color screwed like crazy. Like this, this is unbelievable. Um, I don't wanna kill the dog. This is unbelievable. Look at all this mana. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're just gonna attack. I mean, they can block it if they want. It's gonna trade. It's gonna die. Where's all their small creatures? We need them to cast more small creatures. Because this doesn't help against minus X minus X. If they sacrifice this to save something small, they would both die. Okay. This situation, I guess we give this guy flying. This is six mana. Yeah, let's attack them. Isn't this 6 mana? Do they have 6 mana? Oh, it's 5 mana because they have 1 shrine. Okay. I guess attack. They can trade. I'm sure they don't want us to continue to give our creatures flying. The scythe gets bigger. And uh, end of turn. Because all we have are lands. Where's our big creatures? A 7 mana guy. We already have 6 mana. Yeah, this guy. Um, we need one more island, though. Actually, no, we can. Yeah, we can just discard him. Uh, we're gonna put the island in our hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Tap that guy. And we can reanimate him. There we go. I guess they do have this stupid shine, but they have to keep all their lands open if they want to tap this. Yeah, we don't need two hazes. We got one haze. Of course, they have more radiant fountains. So they have to keep five mana, so they could only cast one spell. But if they tap this, we can attack them with this guy for two. So it's going to be a slow game. If they cast something small, we can kill it. Even an X5, I think we have enough mana. We have 7 mana for this and Haze. Oh, so they don't want to tap this. No, they do want to tap it. I hope they don't kill our 7-7 seven, seven guy. What? Oh, they have sweet response, of course, because why wouldn't they? And we have unlimited lands, because why wouldn't we have unlimited lands? Eight lands already, and we played, what, five, eight other cards. 50% land. Why do they even have in their hand? Okay, that guy is actually good. We can cast him end of turn. Yeah, 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 tap the guy. Fine. Yeah, we can kill something end of turn, and we can cast this. We can't kill it with this, because they're just going to pump it. Can they still pump it? Yeah, they still have 5 mana. The core story is so annoying. And they still have mana to tap stuff too. But we still draw unlimited mana. Okay. Well, now we can kill it because God knows we can pump this guy. But they're gonna block the zombie. Oh god, if we pestle in haze, we're just gonna. Okay, that was bad attack. Because we lose our black card too. Okay. So let's kill it in response to them pumping. Yeah, they screwed up. They pump at the wrong time. Okay, that was fortunate for us. 
This is not fortunate though. Of course, they're gonna put the scythe on it, which is huge because lots of creature died. <sighs> How many times can we pump this guy? Five plus four nine, so three times. So he's only a five something. It's not gonna work. I don't know how we're gonna deal with this. And of course they draw their Sanctum. Where is our Sanctum? Why did we draw all the lands in our deck? Nine lands. I mean, we have Capture Sphere. Actually, we could double block it. Yeah, we have to double block it. And pump this guy. Come on. Of course the scythe is gonna get huge. And now it costs them only 4 mana to tap something. This is unbelievable. What? And of course they have the feat of resistance to give you pro black. Wait, what? They have... Yeah, so we're not... Yeah, there's no way. We draw 10 lands. We only have 7 cards out of 22. Opponent only has 7, we have 10 lands, so... Yeah, there's no way for us to win, win this game. I mean, we'd... We'd try... One more turn. But I mean, they got this stupid Sanctum mode as well. That was just unbelievable. Really unbelievable the luck that they have and the mana flow that we have, like 10 lands. Yeah, well at least it doesn't have trampo. Where is our... They can gain 10 life, I guess. Where is our uh, capture sphere that we gave up so much for? And the question is, even if we get capture sphere, are we going to be able to to deal with this? No, because we can't deal with the scythe. So they hit us again. We jump block. They gain another 8 life. <laughs> I mean, we know we don't have enough removal, but Really? 10 lands to the opponent's only 8 lands, 2 extra cards. And of course, they uh, they also draw their 2 sanctums because why wouldn't they? Actually, they can attack, and when we cast this, they can tap it before we can block. So we're going to take 11 damage. Yeah, we'll just try it anyway. Yeah, of course they're gonna tap it. Uh, I think we're dead. I mean, we are pretty much dead. We don't have board wipes for this. We have capture sphere, but it's too late. We have frost breath. Frost breath could do something actually. We just have to keep a uh, three mana for it. But they're a forty two life. And we're gonna die actually no, we're gonna die from the shrines. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? That was way too late. Wow, what an unlucky matchup. What an unlucky matchup.
just because we got away with winning the first match. <laughs> of course, we have to get mana floated. Like crazy in the second matchup. Uh, let's see what happens next. How many unlimited lands are we gonna draw in our 42 card deck with 17 lands? We have literally two more playable cards than our opponents. And yet we draw more lands. And why are the lands so mishmashed all the time? The islands are the Godzilla ones, and then the swamps that we want to have Godzilla swamps as well are not there. What is this? Of course now we have to get uh, flooded again. Sure. I mean we literally have no rares. Yeah, enough lands already. Get that guy out. I mean, we don't have flyers, but we can give flying to things. Yeah, that's the guy that took all the blue white. Yeah, the blue white deck should be pretty, pretty difficult to beat. They took all the blue white cards that, I mean, we should have taken the blue cards, the white cards if we were in white. And of course we get mana flooded. Again. Like as usual, fifth game in a row or something. We draw mana like crazy for some strange reason. While the opponent is drawing playable cards, we have all lands. They do have a lot of small creatures, so if we get a board wipe, I mean, we can board wipe him, but we can board wipe the other X2s. Yeah, including this guy. Now, of course, he gets pumped. Every single turn, he gets pumped. I guess we can't cast anything next turn. We have to threaten them with making uh, flyers, otherwise, we're gonna die very fast. Oh, we got our capture sphere. First time ever to draw it. But they have a counter spell too. Come on, give us a break. Of course they have a counter spell. Because why would they not have a counter spell? Um Yeah, we can't attack with that guy, we're just gonna die. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable bad luck. Like what is with all these lands? We have drawn again 50% lands in the first like 12 or 13 cards. It's ridiculous, like this is on purpose. What is the point? We have 7 lands and 5 playable cards, it's more than 50% lands. Yeah, we're gonna try Capture Sphere again. Sure. Okay, I guess not. I guess we have another blocker now. Because this they can just use to bounce their creature.
Can we catch a break? Really? I mean, eliminate would not be bad here. You can kill this guy. They have to stay back because we can make our target fly. Okay. So we managed to st stop them. If we cast this guy, do we die? Yeah, because we're at 4. We are just at 4 and they're just gonna fly over. So we can't even cast this card. I mean, the only card that we drew has to be the most expensive card in our deck. What are they doing? They want to bounce something? There's nothing to bounce for them to kill us at the same time. I mean, this guy trades with their biggest guy, this guy trades with the smallest guy, unless they pump it. This guy can gain flying. They have to kill this guy, but we're probably not going to attack with him. So they have to kill it with something else. They are drawing extra cards though. We need to draw something that's not seven mana. Yeah, sure. Gain more life and draw more cards because why wouldn't you? They have five cards in hand, including a bounce power. Uh, sure. Let's have more flyers. Ah, uh, we need to top deck our imp. We need to top deck our second imp. That would be the best card. Because even eliminate doesn't do much. And of course they have the Season Hollow Blade in their deck, because why wouldn't they? Well, this kills one, two, three of their creatures. It also kills four of our creatures, which is not good. It's a bit too late now. It does kill this guy. But we can block this guy now, so we're not worried about that. We literally have to kill this and this before we can pestilent and haze, which we have no idea how we're gonna do. Unless they attack and we manage to block them and kill it with something. Okay. Well, that's pretty much game over. They should just attack with everything. We're only at four. We can only block five creatures. Uh, yeah, sure. Pretty sure we did. What?
Wait, what is auto passing on? Wait, why can't we activate his ability? Why did we go to the blocking stage already? Okay, so we, we screwed up with auto passing, but I think we would have been dead anyway. Of course, opponent gets to play all their beautiful cards, and all we get are lands after lands after lands. <sighs> I mean, they're at 24. There's, there's no way for us to beat them. Especially since now we can't even kill this. The Pestilent Haze. We can Pestilent Haze twice. We draw a second one, which we didn't. Pestilent Haze twice would actually clear the board, okay? But we don't have enough mana. We have six mana. So we would have to choose the haze or the land. Cross breath. Cross breath could tap those guys. But even if we tap them... Okay, we're gonna have to try it. Gonna have to try. No, we don't want to attack. We're gonna have to try to frost breath these two guys. And yeah. Okay, never mind. They have all the bombs. The bomb diggery. They have all the bomb diggery, and we have. Everything too late. I mean, double pested and haze would wipe the board. So we have to hope next card is another pested and haze because we have the mana. Until then, we have to block this so we don't die. So we take two damage. That's the only way to survive the next turn. Double Pestilent Haze. As funny as that is. <laughs> Don't think that would help us win the game though. But we do have this. If we get Double Pestilent Haze, we can bring this big boy back. Oh. Well, it still works. Double pestilent and haze still works. Um, gonna go down to one life. Okay, keep your fingers closed for the second haze. We literally have the mana for it. It will literally wipe the board. Nope, it's an island. We literally needed a second haze. To give everything f minus four, that would literally wipe their board. I mean, now we can capture sphere this guy, but we don't have enough mana to rise again the imp. Um, yeah, we did. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. So we do have double pest in a haze. Okay, this literally does nothing. Uh, we need something that is faster. I think we literally have another rise again. And that's it. That's all she wrote. I mean, we're never gonna get the 7 mana to cast that guy. And they can bounce it to our hand. That was so unfortunate. I mean, we were behind the whole game. Of course, the mana flood uh, pretty much help our opponent the living shit out of us. 
Yeah, the good news is they didn't get the crazy 3-1 guy. They don't know we have Pestil and Haze. So that's why we're not really afraid of the 3-1 indestructible guy once we draw our Haze. Uh, that guy is fine. I mean, he's not fine, but... We don't really care about him for now. If we have Eliminate, we can take care of this. We can draw or Eliminate. Of course they have bus recycle because why wouldn't they? I guess next upkeep we can block. I mean not block. We can tap. See if they want to trade Aqualite. Oh really? That's interesting. I thought they might not want to trade Aqualite. I guess they're very aggressive. So we're gonna save this for when they have two creatures in play. I mean, you can literally rise again this guy next time. We have nothing better to do. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's make our token fly. I mean, we gotta rush them while we still have the chance. They do have flyers in their deck. They wanna kill something. They should kill the imp. Yeah, that's gonna cause the biggest problem. So that's why they were staying back, but I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. They can't really cast the X3, the 4-3 flyer, because it's going to die to this. So as long as we have this in play. And of course they get the remover spell. Okay, Haze doesn't do anything here. Haze does not do anything here. We could kill this guy. He does have power, so he could hit us for a lot. Which would allow them to get the flyer into play. But again, we gotta beat them down. If not, they have to keep two mana open to kill this guy. We're not super afraid of them casting a creature. Because we do have two frost... I mean, we have frost breath. Oh, so they didn't kill this guy. They took a chance. Okay, so we're gonna have to use Frost Breath to our advantage. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to say pass and Frost Breath their guys on our turn. I mean, on their turn. <sighs> Hopefully, they don't have a counter spell. So on our turn, we can actually hit them. I mean, they can kill something with this. But then we can hit them with another Frost Breath. It's gonna be a super grindy game. And they're probably gonna kill our Flyer. Yeah, of course they get more flyers and they draw more cards because why wouldn't they okay so we're gonna have to hit them for uh what their creatures still don't untap it's fine hit them for three and rise again our i guess this guy but they still don't untap. On their next tap key, we're gonna tap them again. And we can actually give this guy flying too, so we can hit them for four. 
Even if they cast a creature on the ground. Ah, <sighs> this is so grindy. And we have to hope they don't have a counter spell next upkeep when we try to tap their guys. They don't cast a creature. That means they have a counter spell removal. Okay. Oh, we do have capture sphere as well. Okay, so they don't have flyer, so we don't have to waste our mana. Yeah, we're gonna have to hope they don't have a counter spell. Another sweet response? Really? I mean, yeah, they're the only deck that plays blue white, I guess. Well, this is our only chance to win. I mean, we have like garbage creatures on the board. Oh my god. Actually, the bounce counter doesn't work because we're just gonna cast it again. Okay, so if they do get a creature, one creature, we can capture sphere it. We need two turns to deal exactly three damage with them not having removal spell. Which they probably have. And of course, this guy's gonna get the removal spell back. And of course, we draw land. This is gonna be suck really bad if we bring them down to one life and we can't finish them. Because <laughs> literally, we have nothing. And they're gonna swift response our one of our guys oh my god this was so terrible how did we get mana flooded again literally we got mana flooded again six games in a row how is this possible with 42 cards hey, what oh no they can do it as an instant oh man Okay, but we're not dead. Actually. This guy doesn't untap. They hit us for 10. We are 11. Unless they have another pump spell. They're gonna go down to 2 life. Because they have to kill this guy. So if they don't kill our next turn. Okay, now we're dead. Now we're so dead. Yeah, of course, and they have a... If we only got this guy one turn earlier, we could have done two damage to them. <sighs> yeah, they block one guy and they kill the other guy. And we can't even activate this because you're summoning Cygnus. And then they hit us for 14. Wow, the worst luck in the world. Okay, we gotta update, upload this video. People still think that uh, this is not... Uh, the game is not rigged. How do we possibly get mana flooded basically six games out of nine? How? How does that happen? <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's like, yes, pay more gems and uh, play more. Even though you can't play, because we're just gonna mana flood you every chance, every single game you have. You can't possibly win the match, because we want people to pay. Pay more money to draft. Well, there you have it. So, thanks for watching, please click like and subscribe for more daily MTG content videos.